Hey everyone, it's the 27th of September and it's uh, about a quarter to one in the morning and I have decided I'm going to wire all my blue lights up and have them up there on the shelf which is currently behind you. Anyway, in order to do that I have got to reconnect this cable to that. I don't know how it came off, but it's come off. Um, I've got to remember what wire does what. <laughs> this is just an ordinary bit of three core flex. It's nothing special. I've just got to remember what the wires do on the uh, on the light bar itself. Because there's three. Because there's one for your blue lights and then this centerpiece lights up as well uh, and I'm pretty certain black's ground well so long as I get the ground in the right place that's all that matters it's not going to matter with the other two Somehow this got pulled off. I'm, I'm not sure how though. But anyway, there's one live. Uh, hmm, is that going to reach? Not really, is it? Let's do the other end then. Just been cut for some reason. I must have got lazy when I was decommissioning this to put on the shelf. Don't strip wires with your teeth, it's not a good idea. But I still do it. I've done it for years. Only when I'm doing things like this though. Right. So, for those that don't know, I bought this from someone on Facebook. I'm not going to give out his real name because, again, I don't have his permission to. My teeth are now starting to hurt. <laughs> um, but he's very kind enough to send two others that needed a bit of servicing um, and an LED amber uh, beacon which I'm not sure where it is at the minute what I'll do is connect these wires up how I think it goes and before I properly terminate them to the switches and power supply I will test them. I'm pretty certain black is the negative. So I'm going to use the blue as the negative and I'll use the earth on this, another green and yellow one, as the other conductor for the other light because it's 12 volts, plastic doesn't need an earth. So in this case, that's what that can be. That is actually ready to just chuck back up on the shelf now, which I will do in a moment. I've got a bunch of switches here. I've got some switches here that I want to just experiment with because they've got a little LED in the middle there. And I do want to use these. I can't remember how many I've got. I think I've... I've got four here, but uh, I think that's all I'll need. Yeah, that's all I'm going to need. And this is only going to be temporary, because uh, I want to make a switch panel up. But I want to know if those uh, little LEDs in there uh, have a resistor attached. 
to allow it to be, um, be connected straight to 12 volts. So we're going to use the trusty computer power supply here in order to find that out. Right, I have to turn you around I think for a moment, or in a moment I should say. Let's cut all these wires down to the same length. Okay, I've swapped you around, the blue lights are up there on the shelf. But the uh, power supply is going to sit on here temporarily. Like I said, this is all temporarily to like get a proper little switch box made up so I can actually uh, use the display properly. So, I've got some switches here that I'm just going to disconnect. Uh, why it's tied in a knot like this, I have absolutely no idea, but we'll get rid of that, shall we? I'm suddenly coughing for some reason. Anyway. Right. So. I do want these two twisted together. I think I'm going to need some extra wire from somewhere. So I might have to disappear in a moment. To go find the extra. Um, bit of wire. Because I don't think I've got anything in here that I can pinch. Possibly a bit of cable off the other lamps actually, depending on how long they are. Okay, so that one has typically got a bloody screw missing. Right, I'm going to reuse this one actually. I'm just using these uh, little chocolate bo blocks, not box. I'm just going to twist the wires on the contacts there of the switches. Like I said, it's only temporary for now. Once I get um, a little switch box made up, which, as is crap, <laughs> as there is um, quite a few scrap pieces at Mum's, I'll uh, I'll probably use those because that's not to be big. And this light bar, I'll probably, um, the one that's up there, the big one, I'll probably end up rewiring anyway because I've sort of attached a cable to it just to extend it because the one on it wasn't long enough. It had obviously been uh, cut when that was removed from the vehicle. Right, so these are going to be we live connections from the power supply. So what I need to do is pick one of these. All the wires have been ends have been cut anyway. So <coughs> I haven't even got the little crimp ends here either. They're all down at Mum's because uh, I didn't think I didn't think I was uh, going to get bored and do this tonight. So otherwise I would have bought them all home. Now, because my teeth bloody hurt, I'm going to use wire strippers to do this, or in this case, wire cutters. And we need a ground. I'm not sure, but I think this is the power supply I originally used when I was playing with these in the kitchen when I first got them. Right. Pull that over. So, for those that don't know, on these power supplies, yellow is the 12 volt and red is 5 volt. And I will also show you in a moment <clears throat> how you can set up one of these power supplies to switch on and off. Um, without being plugged into a motherboard. All you do is get your 20 pin or your 24 pin connector, cut the green wire and just connect it to any random black wire on there as well. I've got a little 
connector block in here, but that will be changed for a switch as well. So I can switch the power supply on and off instead of having to switch it on and off at the bloody socket. And I think I will take that out and just temporarily put a switch in there as well. Right, so I now need... Make sure that's not going to go anywhere. This cable, you know, this is still a bit short, so... I will have to uh, find a longer bit from somewhere. In fact, there might actually be a longer bit left over from a project at Mum's. Okay, so I was using the blue as negative, wasn't I? So we'll get these ends stripped back. Like so. You know, the number of electricians and electronic engineers and people in that sort of field that I watch on YouTube, I've never seen one use wire cutters to strip wires. Um, there's a Canadian I watch, he uses a pair of, well, to me, they look like a pair of scissors. <laughs> um, but apparently they are actually meant for cutting wires. <clears throat> and a lot of the others, they use proper wire strippers. I don't, I've always used wire cutters. Alright, anyway, here we go. I'll get this neutral connected. He says. If I get the wire in. I've just got to connect. <clears throat> Excuse me, I might have to get a drink as well. I just have to connect one to one switch and one to the other. I think I'm going to need a bit more wire stripped for that. But eventually, I'll have a switch box mounted up on the wall. That's my idea. Uh, probably just. Probably in line with my um, router, which I don't think is in shot. No, it's not. Not my router, my um, Ethernet hub, LAN hub, whatever you want to call it. So, there's one, and I will, in just a moment, plug it in and just see if it does work. See if I've actually guess the wires right. Do, 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 do. do one more. This is quite thin wire for a three core cable, you know. I hope whatever I cut this off of wasn't a a big appliance. Oh, so it's pretty much done. Uh, so, I need an extension lead. Here's one I made earlier. I'll turn my spotlights off. I don't need them on there. Here's one. Oh, shit. That's the second time I've dropped a plug on the floor. My neighbour's going to hate me. <clears throat> anyway, there we go. Oh. I think I need a power cable, but I've also got one of those over here as well. Which I will uh, not drop on the floor. Put that in. Well, I don't know if you can see that up there. You can, actually. The uh, fire sign has lit up. Whee! So I've got the wires absolutely correct.
Right. Let's another one. Ooh. Might have to put a thicker wire on there because that's um, that got a bit warm. So let's unplug it. Now I've got to do the next one. That's in that rank order. Room. It's also getting stuck, which is this one. It's a magnetic mount. I've noticed it actually has the wires on it. Where my wire strip has gone? Where did it? Oh, I buried them. Right, so I need you down here again, don't I? What I need to do. I haven't got step ladders up here either, so I can't do the cable entirely. But I just want to see these work. And I don't want to do a video that wasn't just a vlog. You know, I want to do one of me actually doing something. Right, so this I think is a vision alert. Max speed 70 miles per hour. It's got RSG engineering on it. We've got something rattling around in there. A screw. I don't know where the screws come from, but we have a screw rattling around in there. Right, so that's got to go on there. Uh, round the other way, because uh, this one unfortunately has a bit of a hole there. I'm guessing that's why I got it for uh, free. Um, I'm glad this one's got quite a long cable on it. I've got an eight legged friend up in the corner. As long as he stays up in the corner, I don't give a shit. to move the camera, doesn't it? Right, got that over that corner, that over that corner, and that down the... Room. And it's quite a long cable. And then I'm going to lower you down again, so I've now got to connect that, basically, <laughs> to... I had two different switches and they have disappeared. Oh no, I've used them. It's not going on there, is it? That on there. I have no idea why I did that. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm, I'm having a stupid moment. Now, what have I done with my screwdriver? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was getting away at the camera. And I'm doing well. Right. I'm guessing when I dismantled this to bring it back into the bedroom and put it on the shelf, I must have just cut the wires because I'm finding loads of them cut. Right, so. I do have one crimped end here, which is going to make life a lot easier because all I've got to do is that. And just basically connect the ground to this. And the same for the other one, but I don't know if I'm actually going to bother with the other one because only one of them work. Then again, if I'm going this far with it, I might as well do the third. I need to find a worm gear for it because uh, the worm gear that goes on the motor to drive the light or the reflector, the rotating reflector has uh, disappeared, it's been lost. So only one spins around and I've got no other way to uh, solve that so well, I know this one's going to work so I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I'll just grab the next one which is this one which actually has fire written on it as well. Um, and of course at some point I'm going to find some screws to screw this lens on so I don't act
accidentally pick it up and drop the whole thing. But yeah, this is the one without the worm gear. That's got the worm gear. This one hasn't, which is why it just sort of does its own thing. But uh, I've not found anywhere I can get one from. You know, that's what I'm missing. It's on the bottom of this one. It's right in there. Yeah, some lamps are um, some are belt driven, and others are um, direct drive like these. I think I prefer direct drive like this one because uh, I've had belt driven ones in the past, and the belts tend to slip, so I don't like them. Right. This could do with a longer cable on it, I think it might just reach. Right, put this on. This was a magnetic one as well, but uh, I uh, took the magnets on because instead of having two big ones like the one I've got up there at the minute, this one had four little ones, but uh, or should have had four little ones, it had one missing. So, to allow it to sit level, I took one off, or took them off, I should say. I can English, I promise, I can English. Right. So that's got to go there. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, why don't you use a stepladder? Because it's down in the shed. <laughs> I cannot be asked at this time in the morning to go and get it. Besides, I'm done. Right. Do I use this switch? No! I'm going to use this one then. Stick that on there. I need that one on there because I believe the LED is the middle connector. But I don't know if I need to, uh, I don't know if that centre one is going to be live or neutral. I guess I'm just going to have to try one and find out. If I blow it, I blow it. If I don't, <laughs> what I'll do, I'll try the negative one first because that won't blow it. He says. Right. Um downside with this computer power supply is it doesn't have enough oomph in it to run all three at the same time. I can only do one or the other. In fact I think it will just about manage the very top one and my big one. And that sounded wrong didn't it? Do -do -do -do. So got that connected. I'm going to lift you up there and point you up to the ceiling. And I better make sure. I don't actually know if that switches off. I can see one is, but the white one I'm not sure of. So there's that one. think is this one. Yeah. So let's have a look at it. I seem to have a fault with the other one because uh, it's working. The LED is actually lit up without ah I wonder is this Having some wiring issues here. Hang on a minute. You see, only one spins. 
and it's very noisy. Right, so yeah, what I need is just another yellow one, I think, to touch on my switch to see if the LED works. You shouldn't do this with power turned on. It's not a good idea, but... the LED up. Ah. That doesn't run it. Confusing. Hmm, that makes the LED come on, but the lights then don't come on. I do believe there is a... LED is across the load and the earth. That's the earth. So, this one is meant to be on there. That one is meant to be on there. And I need... I just need another negative. Here's right here. Do I? Yep. There we go. I've sussed it. I don't know if you can see that on there, but the LED on the switch is lit up. That's good because I'll use these for the panel switches, you see. It is noisy. I think my favourite ones Yeah, my favourite one for the out of the two mini ones is uh that one. course I've got big boy here <laughs> he says completely turning on the wrong bloody switch I do like that one See, if I turn the um, centre light on, you should notice that the rotators will slow down. And if I now turn the blues off, you should notice that the far sign will get brighter. See that? Oh, pardon me. 
not quite enough oomph in this power supply. Well, I'm happy with that. I'm going to unplug it. That's all I want that for. So, over here, if I can turn that bloody thing up, no, I'm here. I've got four switches. I don't know, I might have some more in my box on the floor. But, uh, I just need a simple box made up. Now. This one's been used. That one's actually got solder on it. That ain't no good. Because I want to use the spade crimps. I mean, I could take these down to Mum's tomorrow and see if uh, me and my stepdad could whip something up. Because I've only got a bit of square box. Nothing special. I mean, even if he cut the pieces, I'll assemble it here. You know, I, I don't know if I'll glue it. Because one of the one of the sides is going to have to come off, so I can uh, wire it. And then, of course, we're going to have the problem of mounting it on the wall. And then a bit of cable clipping, I think, just to make it look nice and tidy. Yeah. Let's see that that. Or I use different switches for that and use these for a project on the Lego Town when I do the lighting on that. Because so I want things to light up and I'm going to need switches as well. So then again, you can get switches like this cheap as hell on eBay, so it doesn't matter, does it? I'm serious. You can get, you know, decent job lots of these, like job lot of 10 for pennies, basically. So. Oh yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll use these ones on this system. And I've actually decided I think I'm going to put the switch, the switch box, somewhere there. It hasn't got to be very big, you know. I could not near enough, I suppose, put these side by side like that. Although, weirdly, that way is the on position. I mean, I could put them that way up, so it makes more sense to me, but, you know, I'm put them up either way, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Only needs to be about the size of this, really, that's all the box has got to be, but uh, obviously deep enough for that, so... A bit more than two of these deep. I'll probably say about two and a half of those boxes deep, whatever that is. I haven't got tape measure, so I can't measure it. Well, I've got tape measure handy anyway. So, hope you liked this video and found it interesting. He says, scratching his head. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.